How's it going? Got Peter Knight today. X band member. Super interesting guy. Looking forward to it. See you soon. <laughs> You're gonna start. Yeah. What if we both start simultaneously? Yeah. If you want to. Okay. What do you? What, how do we start? Do we? Should we like do like a, like a matching thing? Should we harmonize the start? Welcome. Welcome. Hey. <laughs> oh, but then you should have done like a hi hey. I should have done that. Yeah. Yeah. Can I have that one? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that one. Don't crack it straight away, bro. Won't crack we'll it. Get it on cam. Yeah. Okay. The camera's on though. Yeah. But we haven't started. I thought we started. Wasn't it the welcome? Hi, folks. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you talk normally as well. Isn't it? I did that That's fucking Dylan's met. one as well, bro. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I love it. I love how you Should turn that off, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I probably should have put mine on airplane and Mo's got I forgot. Yeah. I forgot again, Dylan. Oh, well, fuck. You know what? Like, that's fine. I'll, you know, I'll put this over here. Anyway, Ooh. episode nine we are. Episode, episode nine. nine. Yeah. Well, I thought you said that you'd already done nine episodes. No, sorry. This was the ninth. This is number nine. Okay, yeah. 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 What if, like... One Who of are ones... you? Oh, I'm Pete. Oh. Yeah. Big bad Pete. I'm big, just big Pete, kind of. Big bad I'm Pete. Not that bad. I'm pretty bad, actually. It's pretty. Quite freaky as well. It's pretty bad. You're going to crack that? We're drinking Woodstocks. Thanks, Ulrich, for the uh, warrior shirt. It's definitely a necessity with Woodstocks. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Kim, for the poncho. You know, this is actually a towel. Aye! Mm. Feel it. Oh, it's got some marmite on it, but feel it. Nah, I'm not feeling that as a towel. No, it's, that's 100% a towel, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's not a kind yeah. of thing. I don't use it as a towel, but like that's like the purpose. I like it as a ponch. It's a good ponch, yeah. Ponchos are pretty cool in general. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've got another one. Oh, it's, but that one's kind of shit. It was just kind of like a white blanket that we cut a hole into. That's not a poncho, though. Well, it's, like, you wear it as a poncho. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No hood, though. No yeah. sleeves, either. So this a is poor man's of... poncho. Yeah, yeah. It's like a it's like a person wearing a toga, a sheet as a toga. Yeah, well, I've done both recently. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> recently? Did you Wait. go to toga party recently? Oh, well, recently, like a year ago. But, like, you know, in terms of the universe. Well, fuck, pe people are using recently too broad now, I feel. Well, I feel like it all depends on perspective, though, doesn't it? Like, well, how the fuck? What What do you think is like a? What do you think would be the definition? Definition of recently. Yeah, I'm feeling like recently has got to be within the last three days. I well, see the definition of recently is not going to work because I bet you the definition of recently says like an event that's recent. <laughs> <laughs> Surely that's not. Sort of, no, that sort of bullshit happens in dictionaries all the time. Fuck that shit, yeah. bro. Now, um, I, I I think it does depend on um on what you're on about as well. If you're talking like geologically recently could be like a couple million years yeah no way it, yeah nah there's no definitive way to do it is there nah and so i think that a year ago could be recently you can get away with anything can't you well you know i'm probably gonna go back on my word and say that i jumped the gun a bit too much jumped on the, the recently bit. comment yeah. okay well we yeah. established that yeah um we're in pete's room today i really like the space you got going it's good needs a little bit more order for me a bit more yeah yeah well but it's kind of organized chaos at the moment you know there is a sense of organized chaos in here. And like, like, in particular, I like the uh, the crate TV stand. Yeah, that's all. That's really organized. Very organized. And then it's the like clothes on the floor is like the chaos. Mm -hmm. So or organization. The unmade bed. The uh, yeah. The chaotic table. Yeah, that's that's what it normally looks like as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not even my props. Yeah, yeah. I, I just you just so happen to have the exact the exact same setup. things. Yeah, it's kind of that was like really it's handy. kind of uncanny. Mm. You know, he came in with his backpack. And you're like, oh, yeah, I've got all this stuff. And mm. I just had all of them yeah. already, all sitting there it's, as well. It's quite demoralizing, really. Yeah. I thought it was special, but... No, no, it's, I think it's just, um, you know, like, we kind of match, don't we? Mm, we are quite alike. We're quite similar in many ways, and the props are just one way that we're similar. Oh, on that note, you know, I think you're probably... How many people are there? Let me just quickly do this out. One, like, two, just in three. general, or like... I think I probably have five people... 
that I really respect their musical taste and you're one of them, mate. Congratulations. You know, that actually means a lot to me. Well, uh, not respect. I respect everyone's musical taste. <laughs> Everyone has different <laughs> musical tastes. But a reliable taste that I can, that I, I will find scrumptious as well. I feel like that compliment kind of went downhill a bit. Because you say, I respect you. Wait, well, I don't respect you. I don't respect them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no one does. <laughs> reliable, I like that. It's kind of altered a bit recently as well. Yeah, but I like that. You you got to like kind of it's evolve. Move and wait. You got to go with yeah, life, yeah. don't you? It's like Pokemon. Yeah. No well, one wants to be a Charmander forever. Are you are you talking like how Pokemon evolve, like individual, yeah. or how the Pokemon the like show? I oh, know. I'm talking about individual Pokemon. Yeah, because you know the new Pokemon suck. Yeah, does it or or are we just too old for it? I don't know. Maybe no, it's see, awesome. I I I was thinking about that recently. Like you could you could make the argument that we're too old for it, but I reckon if we were too old for it, we wouldn't like the young shit either. We'd be like, but is that just nostalgia? I reckon Charmander's is pretty cool. Like, I don't know if that's just nostalgia. Don't get me wrong. Me. I I'm a hundred percent agree agreeing yeah. with you on the front that first gen Pokemon was the best. Yeah, but I don't know if I'm just being biased. So, th- so I, I think there's two there's two explanations there. One is that first gen Pokemon was just the best. Full stop. Number two is that when just using our nos- we have got like a nostalgia bias. I think that that's got to play into it a lot. Like, I feel like kids who are growing up with this new gen of Pokemon are going to be like, that's going to be their nostalgia bias. Okay, okay. And do you reckon that they wouldn't like our stuff? Is, is Pikachu still like in the show and stuff? To be fair, I haven't given a good enough chance either. Yeah, well, actually, now that you come to say that, like... I could I probably spend, get stuck into it if I watch like, 50 episodes. 50 episodes. <laughs> Should we do that after this? Yeah. <laughs> Should we put it on now? <laughs> yeah, we'll get it going. <laughs> this is Pete and Scruff watching Pokemon, Pokemon for three hours. Well, that's just bullshit. I mean, come on. <laughs> what the fuck? Does, <laughs> what type of name is that? Cubasaurus Rex? <laughs> is it a real Pokemon? No. Maybe. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> wouldn't be anyway, surprised. tell us a little bit about yourself, mate. Who are, who are, who are people watching? <clears throat> who are people watching? You're watching, um, you're watching Pete. Um... Yep, I'm a man. Male. Technically. Technically, I am. Hmm. Yeah. I've heard. Yeah. It's a fucking mistake. Rumors going around. Yeah. yeah. It spreads fast, bro. Rumors going around, yeah. I'm, um, I live in this room. I've got a few maps. So that's, um, America. America. That's, uh, European. European. Your great Word. maps. Um, so I, I'm, I'm, I, I kind of like appreciate a good. <laughs> that was just my ghost. 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 That was probably me sitting on the on the cable. No, definitely ghost. No, definitely ghost. Yeah, I actually, I really want to. (laughs) 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 Just, just gonna die, isn't it? Is is it is it us, or is it gonna die? I think it's you. Okay, I think it's me. Yeah. Um, something about a ghost. Leave it off. No, let's yeah, let's leave it off. It's kind of moody, eh? Oh, it is quite moody. It's quite moody. Yeah. Saturation levels, Jackson, just dropping. Yeah. Who's Jackson? Jackson Mariatu. Oh yeah. Hey Jackson. Well, what what they can't see actually is that three quarters of my walls are really, really like got that cool vibe to it. You know, like like without like, kind of like knobs. Well, yes, knobs, but like re- regardless of what's on it, like it's just like wooden planks. Yeah, hard. I do like the wooden plank vibe. So when you're sitting where we are, it kind of looks like you're like in a log cabin. Mm, it could it be does. in the middle and of the like, woods. This could be just. This could be it. Just the cabin. You don't know. But from the camera, there's just this... Just us. The one bad wall. Just looks like a room for them. Yeah. Just so we'll normal. just stop that. Just a regular room. What else do you do with your life? What else do I do? I, um... I study... What do you study? I do, um... I do... The fuck are you studying now? Like, what's, you what's going on? You, you don't know, do you? No, I don't. T- tell them what I study. Zoology, nah. right? did that. See that on the oh, wall? You're doing another you're doing another degree. Yeah. You're doing your masters, aren't you, right? Yeah, I'm doing your masters, yeah. But like is that in f- uh f- filming? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's filming in nature though. It, so it's uh science communication is the name of the masters. Hmm. And then it's like got an endorsement in um science and natural history filmmaking. Man, that's pretty that's pretty cool, bro. Yeah. Two years? Yeah. So this is my last one. Last one. Yeah. So it's gonna be a lot of hands on shit this year? Yeah, so I got to make a twenty-five minute film and write a thesis like related to the film, like oh, easy, bro. Fuck yeah, easy. It's just that easy. No, bro. honest, like real easy. Twenty-five minutes is fuck all. It's nothing, bro. It could just be a video of me dancing for twenty-five minutes. 
That's what I've done, actually. It's my first draft. <laughs> <laughs> it's all uphill from all here. All uphill from here. Hmm. No, but um, it should be cool. So the thesis is, is like um, like you have to do a bunch of research on like something related to documentary filmmaking. Hmm. You know, so I'm researching um, uh, like how humor and like satire and parody and shit like that can be used to like communicate messages better. Fuck yeah. Yeah, right? I rate that. Yeah. So true, bro. 100% true, right? So true. Look at just comedians. The amount of truth that they speak. John Oliver. Like, he's he's cool. You like John Oliver? Or like, he's more fun I haven't watched much of his stuff, bro. I only watch stuff when New Zealand comes up in it, but like, you know the dude that got the dildo thrown in his face, the Kiwi politician? Yeah. I never would have heard about that if it weren't for John Oliver. Because the news is boring. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I hear you. The news is really boring. Well, it's very serious. Very all, all, <laughs> You're not necessarily boring, okay? I'll take I'll take that back. The news is very serious, and mm-hmm. I don't really like that. You know, I'm a bit of a silly silly boy. Silly boy. Yeah, and I think lots of us are really silly boys or girls on the inside. Definitely, I think it's massive at the but, moment. And I I think uh, like a lot of it's uh, like secret silliness too. Lots of people. What do you, you mean by that? Well, lots of people you meet and you think like, oh, this dude's a bit serious, but then like, you know, crack down, get into him a little bit, and he's like. Bit of a silly dicky. You know? yeah, bit of a silly dickhead. People think like they just like have to be serious to kind of like make it in this world, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. I, I disagree. I reckon just be as silly as you want. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Do you think there should be a limit to the silliness? I think there's a limit to the silliness. Okay. I think there's matters that require a serious attitude. I'd agree. Yeah, I'd agree. Such as? Drug addiction. Drug addiction, serious. Family can be quite serious. Family can be serious. Family can also be silly. Can also be very silly. Can also be very silly. Should, should be a moderation between two, no doubt. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. moderation between everything. Well, well, yeah. Family should be providing all sorts of emotions. All sorts, like, like happy, mm-hmm. sad. Like those two, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen the movie Inside Out? No. Oh, it was pretty cool. Like, the whole the whole movie, hap- like, like, there's, like, the happy person is, like, in the brain. And they're, like, trying to make themselves the centre of attention because they think, like, if the sad person in the brain, like, gets control, it'll ruin, like, this little girl's life. But then, like, at, like the end of the movie, like, she had this big realisation that, like, you need sadness mm. to become a fuller person. And so, Beautiful. Like, yeah, it's, it's awesome. And at the end, she's got, like, these mixed, like, happy, sad memories that kind of, like, create this little girl into, like, I like a, that a full lot. person. I like yeah. that a lot. Yeah. You need sadness is very important in life. Well, because if, if there's no sadness, then what's the point in happiness, you know? Yep, nothing exists without its opposite. Exactly. Just like, nothing um, to relate it to. Just like, um... Comparison. Just, just like, um, Darth Vader. Mm. Like, if, uh, would you, would you want to watch Light a movie... Light side, dark side. That was just Darth Vader and no one, just Darth Vader, no one's Killing trying cunts. to fight him. He's just doing his own thing. Kind of boring, isn't it? Oh, Kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, this metaphor is kind of going off the rails. Cause I'm, I'm, remember the end of Rogue One? I haven't seen it, bro. I haven't seen it. Okay. I gave up after I watched the first Star Wars, like that, what's it called? Uh, the Force Awakens. Force Awakens. I oh, didn't yeah. like it. No, fair, fair. Very didn't fair. Like it. I um, I did like it, but I was frustrated by it a bit. I thought it was very similar to episode four. That's exactly what frustrated me, man. Like, and I also so thought, I thought there was a bit too much silliness in it, bro. I feel like Star Wars is quite serious, and the dark side <laughs> of the force should be quite serious. So, drug addiction, <laughs> family. And the dark and side <laughs> of the fucking force, bro. Should be serious, man. Should eh? be serious. <laughs> There's the three rules. Okay. I, um, nah, I liked it. I think that the silliness and Star Wars crosses a line with Jar Jar Binks. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You think yeah. so, yeah. Yeah. But At I'll least he's on the good side, though. You know, the the dark side of the Force should be evil. They shouldn't be, like, having jokes and shit. When were they joking? Oh, I remember, like, the Stormtrooper was, like, walking up to the door, and then Kylo Ren was, like, smashing up <laughs> the control room, and then Stormtrooper's just like, <laughs> nah, Bolan. <bowl." laughs> nah, Bolan just walks away. Yeah. Nah, I remember that. That was, yeah, that was kind of funny. I there was just that. a few things that I was just like, oh. Here's a question. What did you think of the new Thor movie? You must have watched it. Nah, I haven't. Haven't watched that? Nah, bro, I haven't. Is that the one that uh, that New Zealand guy did? Taika Waititi, bro. Like, my idol. Idol? Oh, yeah, idolized him. Nice. Because um, bec- because it's just his mixture of, like, like fun humor and sadness just mm-hmm. kind of intertwines, and that's, like, real my vibe. 
But heaps of people in this Thor one in yeah, particular. Perfect, oh, yeah. perfect. In my opinion, but heaps of people didn't like it. Mm. Specific, a, lo- a lot of uh, why too Hollywoody or what? No, no. Uh, um, it was real true to his to his normal stuff, but a lot of like yeah. the uh, Americans and like people who expected like a Hollywood blockbuster were like, oh, too silly. Oh, a bit silly. Yeah. Mm. A bit silly, and I. Oh, well, you, I, I like this. I thought the silly was kind of cool. Okay. Yeah. But lots of people like thought that it kind of downplayed the emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's the trade-off, though, that's isn't the, it? Is it though, or does the silly kind of act in contrast to the emotion, as in the happy and sad, and in, Inside Out? Hmm, that's a good one to ponder. I don't know, man. I feel like there's some movies, once again, that just need to be full serious. Like Shindler's I'm not saying that Thor is one of those. Though. Okay. Schindler's List, though. Schindl- Can't say it. No time for it. Can you yeah. say it? Schindler's? Schindler's List. List. I, I get, Lift. <laughs> I get really confused because Schindler is a brand of Lyft. Is he? Do you, you know that? No. Every time you go Just into a Lyft... me facts here, bro. Every time you go into a Lyft from now on, look for the logo. I guarantee, like, within a week... Or it depends how many lifts you're going to. Yeah, I'm not a big lift. I'd guy. say within about 50 lifts, you'll see Schindler. And it's really. Okay, man. <laughs> it's funny because you're going to keep an eye out. Schindler's lifts. <laughs> <laughs> man, that is a fucking good movie. I haven't seen it. Fucking good movie. Yeah, I haven't seen it. I've it's done, too, I've done too the. Serious for me. <laughs> <laughs> I've done the top 50 on IMDb. What's the number one? What's Shawshank. your number one? Shawshank's number one on the list. Good movie. Very. Good movie. That's got the nostalgic element in it for me though as well. Oh, from watching it back in the day. Cause my it's my one of my dad's favorite movies. Ah, yeah. So like that. It is. Green Mile. Um. Green Mile's great. What's that one? Oh, that Mi- one. Mississippi Burning. I don't. I don't really like them too much. But Haven't when I watch them, one. I'm going like, woo, because you know my dad used to watch them. So yeah, yeah. Of nostalgia. I, think. I hear you. Yeah. Same with Lion King. Oh. Let's just let's just not get. Suck me off. No, I'm just gonna. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> You're taking this too far. Dad. You take th- <laughs> no. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> can't joke about. See, that's that's another thing you can't joke on, about. Dad. Mufasa dark. Yeah. <laughs> Family, drug addiction, s- the dark side of the force, and Mufasa. Yeah, bro. Those are the four things you can't They're joke about. serious shit. You can't joke about. Yeah. Yeah. Everything else. Uh, How silly do you think you are on a scale of one to seven? I think it varies. One to seven. Yep. Okay. I think it varies. I can, an answer. I can definitely be a one at times, you know? Oh, okay. But I Mood can, based. Yeah. I don't Overall, reckon I average. don't reckon I hit a seven. I I don't reckon I'm a s i am reckon a solid five in general. Yeah, I'll give you a five. Yeah. But I, just I, above average. I reckon a six. No, nah, I'm not a six. Maybe a five five. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. But definitely I'm not I'm not crossing up to like five six? No. That's that, that's that would a be big rounded step. up to six. I'm Five, lowest. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, you can't get too silly as well. Oh, yeah. If you be too silly, you're not going to get anywhere, are you? Yeah. Well, you, you can get somewhere, but it just annoys me. You ever, <laughs> you ever seen um PewDiePie on YouTube? Negative. Oh, he's meant to be like the number one subscribed YouTuber. Is that right? Yeah. And like... It's like after... After this goes live, of course. After after our Scruffy Chimwags goes on there. Scruffy Chimwags. Chim- Remedy for curiosity. Or well, like, at least he was like mm. back in the back in the like you know. Is that right? Sometimes and um. What's um, he What's he running? Well, I'm not his target audience, you know. Okay. But um. What's his target audience? Well, I'm assuming younger children. Like, how old? I don't know. Maybe like a. It's young now. Preteen, maybe. Like a ten year old. Like a like a ten to fifteen maybe. Okay. But he's so like so he does like gaming videos and he he ah. he's, he like talks in a weird voice. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of like, sorry, mate, a bit too silly, He's silly. for okay. me. Yeah, but you know, that's that's probably his thing. You know, he goes for just a silly guy. Yeah, silly. When people are, man, it's annoying when people are silly, but you're in a serious mood. Oh my god. And I, vice versa. I can think of a lot of situations when that happened with us, actually. Yeah, fuck yeah, bro. Like, like you're you'd be the serious one. Oh yeah, I'm definitely a lot more serious. Oh no, I can think of one time when, when we were <laughs> silly ones, and there was a serious uh, third party. What was that? He'll remain unnamed. What have we got for um, silly? 
uh, in your basement. And, oh um, yeah, 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 yeah. Being a bit silly. What did you say? You you said haven't you were trying to convince them to have another drink or something, and they and they got all upset at you. And then you don't remember this, do you? Oh, I can't remember it that well. Eh? Okay. Th- was this post snob gig or post Southie gig? Uh this was pa- post. Um, not not the one where we watched the Rugby World Cup. Not that one. Oh yeah, well that was that was a pretty silly night. That we was a really that was an awesome silly night. Do you remember what we did? We watched um we watched silly videos on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm like going back. I'm saying like contradictory statements, eh? Yeah. I think that just like lends itself. The videos we watched that night were <laughs> fucking ridiculous, bro. Don't hug we me. I'm scared. To, yeah. Oh my <laughs> god. It's not silly though. It's just kind of fucked up. It's, yeah, that, that's kind of fucked up. We did watch some silly ones though. We did watch. Some we did silly watch ones. some fucked up ones as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. We I used to be in a band. Does he know that we're not on Spotify? Yeah, we're not. We're actually not on Spotify. What do you think about bands? Bands are cool. Mm. I um, I find a lot more pleasure as a musician and playing with other people than I ever could by playing by myself. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I stopped like um, I, I, I yeah, stopped playing Hard by out. myself really. Like, I don't really find fun in it. What do you what? Do, why do you think you enjoy it? Oh, it's just the connection, bro. Just connection with other people. It's just the whole vibes behind it. The whole like it's a real hard one to explain, though. Wait, yeah. to actually articulate, actually put into exact words. Mm. I don't know, but do you feel the same? Yeah, bro. Like yeah. it's. I'm try. I've tried to figure it out. I'm trying to figure out why, but like, it's a it's a tough question, isn't it? It's real tough because it is like. It is that kind of connection thing. And it comes in waves, like, because sometimes you can feel it, like, when you're real and groove and in sync yeah. together. It's like, you're kind of, like, aligned. Like, you're just, like, in the right place at the right time. It's like one of those uh, aha moments or, like, yeah. an epiphany. Like, you don't give a fuck about anything else around you. You're just in the moment you're in and there. you're just grooving. And you can't get that if you're playing to a backing track by yourself, you know? No, no. It's, it's, the, it's the live... I don't know. There's something there, though. There's something there. It's always It's always perplexed me with the whole live music thing eh? it's just like it's got it's got a lot of power over people live music well see what I've also found though is a lot of the times when I um listen to a song on YouTube and it's like a live version I often don't think it's that good but then like totally bro if you were there in the crowd that would be better than you could ever imagine Banging. it to be yeah I mean a lot of that you gotta attribute a lot of that to uh g'day, g'day. and other drugs <laughs> And other drugs, yeah. But I've been sober at gigs. I've before. been sober at gigs and they're good. Yeah, and, and like it's just blowing my mind. Like um Sid the Whale, I went to go see them. Oh did you see them uh, in, uh sober, did you? In uh, Nova Scotia and I was sober. Well I had like a beer, I think, maybe. That was afterwards. I don't remember. But it was um it was just that blew my mind. Um I've got YouTube videos. Oh no, no I've got Snapchat videos. And that was like it's not that good. I think it's the same when you're playing music too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the I same know, 100%. thing. I know, 100%. Because, like, listening back to, like, some of the shit we did. It sucks, soggy butthole, it's isn't so it? so shit, bro. <laughs> and I'm just like, when we were doing it, I was just like, we're so fucking mean, dude. I remember, like, us, like, like, like the law gig, for example. We, we played at the law ball. Yeah, that was a couple yeah. years ago now. A couple, couple years ago. But I remember at the time just thinking, like, this is the best stuff I've ever done. And the crowd is just fucking frothing, and everyone's loving it. Like you see, like, part like of the it, sober it? bouncers, like dancing in the corner. Everyone's getting into it, and then mm-hmm. you listen to it the next day, and it sucks. Sucks. I'm playing the wrong chords. It's got. It's got to be the crowd, bro. I think it's the crowd. You, like the 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 people. Just, yeah. Yeah. The atmosphere. Because it's not the it's vibes. Yeah. It is better to be um, the ones performing the music, though, I think, if it's going well. Yeah. But for it to be going well, you need to have a good crowd. Okay. But, like, I'm just comparing that from, like, when I've been in the in a really good moment playing live compared to, like, when I'm in a really good moment watching a band. Okay. The playing trumps the watching. The playing trumps the watching because yeah. it strokes your ego a little bit, doesn't it? Strokes your ego a little bit. <laughs> Fuck, I'm good. <laughs> Fuck, I'm good. <laughs> nah, I don't even know if it is the nah, ego. Nah, it's, it's definitely the ego for me, bro. Is it? I'm quite narcissistic. Is that right? Are yeah. you? I'm real narcissistic, bro. Narcissist. Really? Yeah, bro. 
I wouldn't have said you. I wouldn't describe you as narcissistic. I'll describe myself as uh, more narcissistic than you. No, see, but the thing is, I'm a subtle narcissist. Ah, okay. Yeah, I kind of just, just sneak it well, in. Then that's not subtle. Nar- you think that's an oxymoron, don't you? No, it works. It works. Now, see, last night we were playing. Um, ship came into the harbor, a drinking game. So you know, say so ship came into the harbor carrying. You know, yeah, yeah. Category, and then everyone says it. Mm-hmm. And I said compliments about Pete. <laughs> and I fucking frothed it. Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, my you, God, I frothed it. You might be like a kind of silly narcissist. <laughs> but no, see, that's the thing. was I think everyone else thought I was taking the piss, but I was sitting there like, fuck you. You're actually being serious. Oh that's God, what I mean. Yeah. You might play it off as jokes and then... Fucking yeah, like, compliment me more, bitches. You know? uh, you're getting hard on that shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. But fuck yeah, music. Music. Yeah, I don't think it's narcissism for me, eh? I think it is like... I would have guessed it was narcissism for you. You seem quite narcissistic. Mm. I am quite narcissistic, bro. Yeah. I am. You but love I don't yourself. think that is that for that me. I keep seeing I'm you checking critical. yourself out in the mirror, by the way. I'm, I'm noticing I actually that. can't see myself in the mirror. Oh. I can but see like, the bookshelf. Is that lying me? <laughs> 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 That's actually a really good band, bro. That one. What is it? Polyculture. Polyculture? Polyculture. This, um... From... From Colorado. Colorado? Colorado. So um, I had a flatmate last semester. Just screw around here somewhere. That love heart, actually, those love hearts there, is uh, one of the saxophone I didn't realize they were that far inland from Cali, eh? I did. Yeah, I'm just not cool. See, I'm kind of like good at geography and stuff. Like, I know heaps about this. What an old low school's down here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Highest per capita meth labs. Fairbanks, Alaska. Wow. That's true. You reckon you'd ever... What would be... Okay, I was going to ask, would you ever try meth? But I'm going to ask... Uh, no. I'm going to ask, what would be a situation where would you would be most likely to try meth? Imminent, unavoidable death. From, like, like or just old like age? Um, any death at all? Or, like, maybe, cancer ma- death? Maybe not old age. More like, um, like, there's going to be a bad death. Like, you know, if there's, like, an axe murderer, like, <laughs> coming into <laughs> your room... <laughs> You'd be tripping, bro. If this act were to come, you'd fucking be <laughs> tripping out. <laughs> I don't think I'd be going for that, bro. I'd be keeping my wits about me and still... That's not... Okay, that was that's a, not that, inevitable. Okay, that was a bad... That was no, a really fuck bad... fuck you, G. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to think of an example where imminent, unavoidable death is there. And, like, the only example I can think of is zombie apocalypse. Yeah, St- I suppose. Like, stuck in a... Like I'm, a I'm thinking more disease, bro. What about, like... You're going to die in a couple of weeks from cancer. You're going to try meth? I don't think I'd try meth. I don't know if I would. I don't know if I would. Like, I, th- I think that I'd... I feel um, like I'd want to make the most of what I have. But I also feel like there'd always be the little bit in the back of my head saying, nah, but you're, they're, they're fucked. You'll win. You'll beat it. You're good. Oh, you still got hope. Yeah. Nah, Pete, you're, you're sweet, bro. You're not going to die. Yeah. I hear you, narcissist. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I've, be- I've fucking beat this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I beat the fuck out of it. Like, <laughs> beat the shit up. Like, it's me. Like, you know, come on. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know if I could try meth. I think that in the situation of an imminent, unavoidable death, it would be so unrealistic that it just wouldn't happen. Yeah. Like, like the, the plane's... <laughs> oh my gosh, look, I found this piece <laughs> of meth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the plane's going down and there's like a, like a demon... Coming to get you <laughs> at the same time. The boat Titanic then, sinking. <laughs> I actually know, yeah. If the Titanic was sinking and I was like, you know, bunking with the room. Well, better do some meth. Better do some meth. <laughs> no, but like you, you could get in those situations, but I always feel no, I, I don't. Okay, I'll take it back. Probably never try meth. I probably, I don't think I would. Eh? I don't think I would. What if a billion dollars to try it? Yeah, yeah. So you would try meth. There you go. But that, yeah. No, see, but th- then it gets dangerous because... Billion dollars. Y- but then you've got all this money that you can blow on meth. Yeah, exactly. So you're fine. <laughs> My addiction will be safe. But then you'll keep <laughs> doing meth. Yeah, but that'll be enough. <laughs> no, I'd, I'd, can, can we make a... I would, a I would back myself <laughs> to be able to do meth once. Once. I reckon as soon as I did it twice, I reckon I'd be fucked. Okay. I reckon if I did it twice, I'd be fucked, but I don't know if I could do it once. Neither. I don't know the power of it. Oh, I, I, no, I couldn't do it. No fucking way. I wouldn't. How powerful was that shit, eh? Oh, no. See, see I told myself but I wasn't going to start drinking coffee every day. <laughs> now I drink coffee every day. 
coffee is a, I bet you meth is stronger than coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like I'd like to think it is. I'd hope so. <laughs> I hope it's mean. Like it, be, it better be mean. If it's fucking up so much shit for everyone, it better at least be nice. It better to be do. worth it for the first time. You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, even every other time after that, it better be worth it. You know, because if you think about it, some meth head sitting in his place and he, everything about his life is shit. At least he's got the meth. You know, he's got the meth. But then, if meth was bad, like it wasn't good, he probably wouldn't have been in that situation either. So maybe yeah, it just keeps going. Just keeps. Maybe we going. should just not smoke meth. There was a meth lab down the road from my school. Was he? Wait, no, no, not from my school, from my house. When I was at oh, school. Oh, in Loha. Yeah, literally. Loha number forty. <laughs> <laughs> you know it, bro. <laughs> right down my street, there was a uh, one day I was walking uh, home from school from the train station. There was a big van parked outside, and I was like, "Fuck, what's what's going on?" And I looked down the like the driveway, and there's just a police officer with a big assault rifle. Cool. That was my first time I saw an assault How rifle. Old? Oh, I would have been like fourteen. Right. And um, you would have been the cool guy at school that day. Oh, that was after school. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, I, I tell you what, I was definitely not the cool guy at school ever. <laughs> <laughs> You know that after I left school, some guy um, made up a rumor that I was gay, and heaps of my heaps of my I guys from school, like um, everyone just thought I was gay. Yeah. And um, I wouldn't have minded too much. I don't give a f- like everyone thinks I'm gay anyway. But like there were some guys that shunned me. Like, I remember I came to uni, yeah. and I had, a, I had a guy that I thought was a good mate, and he just shunned me. And I was like, "Fuck, what's going on?" And then uh, hey. a year later, this was Obik in my second year. I ran into him in a drive when he stops me. He's like, "Bro, um, I just got to say something. I am." Um, I've grown a lot this last year, and like I'm, I just got to say, when I found out you were gay, I just couldn't handle it, and I'm really sorry for the way I treated you. Well, that's quite big of him. And I was like, "You fu- wait, you found out I was what?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and yeah, I, I told him I wasn't gay, and he he um he gets some fucking some <laughs> guys on the phone. He calls them up. He's like, "Couldn't believe it, bro. I'm with Pete. Guess what? He's not gay." And these guys are like, "No, nah, fuck off. Pete's gay." He's like, "No, honest. I'm with him. No, nah, he had sex with a girl once, apparently." <laughs> I had sex once, yeah. But yeah, that was um a thing that happened. That was a thing that happened. That was a thing that happened. You ever been to Alaska? Yeah. What's the dilemma? Dilemma. Uh, what's the dilemma? I've been to Ketchikan. It's weed legal there, eh, as well. What? It's weed legal there, isn't it? Maybe. Fuck. Maybe. I don't know. Ask an Alaskan. I got an Alaskan. We can ask. I've been to Ketchikan, Juneau, and Skagway. <laughs> Are they places there? Well, I'll, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I got a, I got a on a cruise ship in Vancouver. Oh yeah. Went up, and then went down. Cool. Yeah. Where else you been, bro? You've been fucking everywhere, man. I've been to some pretty gnarly places, Scruff. He's a big time traveler. Yeah. Well, I've been to like the regular, you know, Europe, India, the Pacific Islands. It's not regular, bro. Well, y- it's not regular for everyone else. Well, like. For travellers, it is. Yeah. But then I've been to some pretty gnarly places that a lot of seasoned travellers would never have gone let, to. Let's go. Let's go. Travelling. Yeah. Highlight, like uh, country-wise. Yeah. Highlight, low light, scariest, most, um, enlightening. Highlight, Australia. Is that right? When. November 2017. Why? Because it wasn't mainland Australia. It was Macquarie Island, which is an Australian territory, but it's about halfway between Hobart and Antarctica. No, not just yet, not just yet. And it's fucking scary. Like, you land and you just get greeted by all these elephant seals and king penguins and royal penguins and you just hang out with them. Yeah. It's awesome. Loved it, eh? Yeah. Cool. Definite highlight. I'll put it on my to-do list. It's Whereabouts did you say it was again, sorry? Halfway between Hobart and Antarctica. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fuck, so that's... How far down is that then? That's halfway between probably bl- Bluff and Antarctica. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, it's below the Antarctic Convergence. Oh, shit, bro. So that's where, like, Antarctic waters converge with other waters and stuff. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Brain... Brain, Brain. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, highlight, low light. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm too positive to actually give uh, an entire country. Don't in, be a pussy, Jim. 
I've got a low experience, I think. And where did it happen? San Francisco. Oh, it was New Year's. No, it wasn't New Year's. <laughs> it was the 30th of December. What, with me? Of course you don't fucking remember it. You were the reason it was the shit experience. Oh, okay. Do you remember that none at all? I remember it. I remember okay. it, bro. So, I you... lost my jacket. <laughs> That's why you... <laughs> <laughs> It was horrible. You snuck me into a bar. I was... You were 21. I was 19. Did I do it? Did I manage to get you away with it, you reckon? No, I, I just think walked into that, a that, bar. that was just a, a figure of speech. Okay. 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 So we got we sn- we I was w- legal. Yuri. We didn't even sneak. We walked into a bar and the bouncer wasn't there, and then he showed up and just assumed that he'd already ID'd us. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. And I remember you were buying us drinks for a bit until you realised that the bartender didn't ID, and then so I was like, yeah. And I you look twenty one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Then we no. What happened was you started scamming on some girl. Did I? You started scamming on some girl, and you and you two were ah. kind of chatting. Fuck yeah. And then her mates come along, and we start chatting with them, and then the girl fucks off. Ah. Uh, oh, her male mates. Male oh, mates. Oh, that's yeah. right. That's and then right. the male mates start buying us whiskey shots. Oh, I like them. <laughs> Jameson's whiskey. And then they say, okay, this is getting too expensive. Let's go back to our place. We've oh, got a scared. bottle of Jameson there. I was scared. But you, we still fucking got in the Uber with them. We're drunk. <laughs> we were horribly drunk. We go back to their place. Wherever uh, the fuck that was. I remember tripping because you could see the Golden Gate Bridge from their backyard. Mm. Yeah. I can't remember that. Oh, of course you can't. Drink some Jameson, go to another bar. Got fucked up, eh? Bro, you got more fucked up. You want to know why you got more fucked up than I did? Because we went to this other bar, which was closed. It was their mate's bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were buying us more whiskey shots. Do you remember what I was doing? Nah. I was pretending to take a sip and then tipping it down oh. in front of me. I remember you definitely noticed one. You, yeah, you yeah, I remember noticing yeah. that. And I was like, yeah. Whereas you were just <laughs> fucking drinking them. Uh, and then they disappear. We get kicked out. We're on the street. And what do you do? Rung up that girl. Lucy fucking Pringle. <laughs> Should I say her name? Ah, oh, it's out you there You can now. beep it out if it's you out want. It's out there now. Yeah. Hey, Lucy. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> you go off and start fucking ringing her and leave me to try and figure out how to get home. Right, Pete, go <laughs> work it out. <laughs> I'm freaking out a little bit because no one's there and we're both fucked up. Uh, a Croatian guy comes up to me and we start jamming. He gives me a ciggy yep. and another guy comes up to me. This is the low point. And he says, can I have a ciggy? And I'm like, sorry, bro. I don't have any of his. And this guy looks at me and says, you're lucky I don't fucking kill you. And just walks off. You were lucky. And Scruff is around the corner. <laughs> hey, Lucy. <laughs> How you fucking doing? <laughs> I was terrified. Fuck. I'm and a like, good friend, bro. I'm bro, a good friend. <laughs> Looking back, it's just some fucking drunk idiot saying yeah. you're like, you know, like, like. Obviously, oh, you weren't in any danger. Obviously, I wasn't in any well, danger. Maybe you were. Obvi- like, who fucking knows? Who fucking bro? knows? You could have had a gun. Who but knows, like, I'm assuming I wasn't. And um, like, but at the time, like, you knew t- first time in San Francisco alone with a drunk guy, and some guy tells me he's gonna kill me. And then, <sighs> bro, yeah, that it is was intense. pretty low. But the story continues because I've got a confession to make to you. That. What's up? You don't know this. It's not... You, you stole my jacket? <laughs> <laughs> no, so what happened was Fuck. we get in this Uber. And this Uber guy is driving us for fucking ages. And Scruff starts having a go at him. Fuck that Where you cunt. fucking taking us, mate? You're a fuck. We fucking... Hey, he, he just goes off and eventually we pull over and we get out. And um, this story is fucking convoluted, bro, because... He wasn't taking me home. I give him my card to pay. And... It, and what happens is that he says it's not working. Gives it back to me. Scruff, you pay with, with cash. Or with car, I don't know. But, but he said my card didn't work and then you paid. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I can't remember that, but yeah, okay. But, like, Uber's all done. He fucking scammed us. Right? And we'll, 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 get, we'll get back to this. We'll get back to, to that bit in a minute. But Cheeky then we get out. Fuck you, G. We're <laughs> lost as fuck. Because he hadn't dropped us off anywhere near where we we, we, we didn't recognise the area. Luckily, there's some fucking convenience store right there that's open. We walk in. This is my confession. And there are these two uh, two fellas. They're still running the store, and it looks like they kind of take pity on us because um because you know we're, we're two lost. drunk fucking New Zealanders. And um, Everyone I say keys. to Scruff, Scruff, you got us kicked out of the cab. <laughs> you're buying me darts. Okay. Fuck you, Scruff. You're buying me darts. You yeah, you're me in a little pooey, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was in a little pooey. I was definitely being serious and you being serious, silly. Very serious. Yeah. So. But um, so you buy me darts. These guys point us home, which was like five minute walk. We go home. The next day, you go to me. Where did my money go? 
I didn't. I paid for the Uber, but I didn't get anything else, did I? I was like, nah. Didn't buy. Didn't buy anything. Uh, darts are cheap as chips <laughs> over there, aren't they? Oh, it was only ten bucks, but I never told you. Thanks for the darts. Oh, fuck. All good, Jim. Yeah. Thanks for the fucking free accommodation <laughs> for five, five days. Oh. Uh, but then, um, so this story finishes uh, six months later when I arrive in New Zealand. Uh, it was so funny because I spent like the next six months or so in, uh, like North America. Then I get back, and literally, bro, literally the day I get back, I look at my bank and I've got charges on my card from San Francisco. Hey. Remember when I gave him my card and he said it didn't work? He just fucking, fucking takes pictures of the back and the front or some or writes it down. <laughs> Scams me. That fucking that that fucker. Was the, I think that was the first Uber I got. Yeah, that was the first Uber I ever had. And so well, we didn't know how it worked. Because yeah. it's all self, it's, it's all, all automatic yeah. as well. Yeah. So not so he scammed he scammed my card off me. He scammed your cash out of you, and he still got paid from old Croatian guy who was just being a good bro. Fuck out, <laughs> man. We have fucking noobs. <laughs> <laughs> that would never happen. Don't let Uber fuck you over. Don't let Uber fuck you over. Yeah, so that's my low. Story? Scary? No, that's a flatmate walking up the stairs. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh. Scariest. Oh, scariest story. Um, Probably that actually, well, actually. That as well? Boring. Okay. Well, no, I haven't really done that much scary shit. Like, because all my shit that I thought was scary at the time turned out not to be scary later. It was just me being a little bit. Yeah, bitch. but at the time. At the time, um, nah, I'm pretty tough. What was the scariest moment at the time? Okay, well, no, see, see. I've d- I've been a lot of places. If it is that one, I have. I'm thinking of a time I got very very scared, and it's probably not the scariest, but it's the scariest one I can think of at the moment. I was walking down the banks of the Ganga River in Varanasi. There are heaps of cows there. Cows in India are chill; they just fucking let you pass by. And then one just comes at me, just fucking comes at me, and all these Indian fellows like like helping me get out of the way and stuff. And it turns out I stood on a piece of lettuce he wanted. <laughs> But yeah, I got real scared. I saw a tiger there as well. Not in Varanasi, in India. That wasn't scary though. Tigers are cool. They're a little bit scary though. Oh, yeah. Could be, I guess. Right, should I should I get this in my belly? In hey, the there's th- another one there, mate. You take your time. I reckon, okay. I've just been talking so much, you know. Yeah, That's yeah. That's kind of what I'm here for. Or what you're here for. What? Skull it and then give us most enlightening. That was fucking cool, bro. Quite a cool guy. Most enlightening. It's fucking side with this, bro. Um, yeah, that's a tough one. Can you give me the definition of enlightening in this context? Like, uh, the experience that you felt was the most influential to your self-development. Is that... Oh, can I, Does can that I still s- not work? Can I say what I think... Well, well, I think I want my answer to be, and you can tell me whether it fits or not. Mm-hmm. But so, I just spent five weeks in India with my dad. And I reckon that five weeks with my dad just added another element to our relationship that mm-hmm. forever changed us for the rest of our lives. And I, I, I reckon imagine. I reckon that that is, would be my most enlightening if you think it fits. Yep. Yeah, I think that fits. Well, what about the time that I smoked too much weed and nearly killed myself in Canada and then stopped smoking weed after that? I don't well. Well, I didn't nearly kill myself. I nearly died <laughs> from events that I was doing because of the drugs I was on. I'd say that the dad one's better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to hear that story anyway? It was basically just yeah. I um, want to hear that story. Fuck yes. I, I was I was trying story. to act tough. You when know, was that sorry? This was like on exchange. Yeah, on exchange in Canada. Yeah. You know I'm a pussy. I know I'm a pussy. Canadians don't know I'm a pussy. Canadians don't. Do they have no not, clue. They've got no clue that I'm a pussy. But no so, one um, knows you're a pussy until they know you. <laughs> <laughs> and these guys didn't even know me. <laughs> but so we we're sitting at this place and these fellas yeah, come around knows. with some mar- yeah. marinara, right? Mm. Weeds. Some drugs, yeah. And they say, hey, New Zealander, do you have good weed in New Zealand? And I was like, bro, we've got the best weed in New Zealand. I smoke every day. Yeah. Yeah. I don't smoke every, even relatively close to every day. Didn't Neither. even back then. Like, mm. never. Ever. Yeah. But so um, I acted really tough. You class it as never. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I acted really tough and smoked 
is more than I ever had in one session in New Zealand. Knowing that trying the, to prove yourself, trying eh? to prove myself, but knowing that this stuff was much stronger than anything I'd ever had in New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. And then I kind of got just—I was just dead on, not not like on the couch. I was like so fucked up, and eventually just died a little bit. I just died a little bit. I'm like to my friend Sabina, Scottish girl. Sabina, I need to go home. Can can you help me? Because I, I can. I don't know if I'm going to move. And she said, "Yeah, fuck, dickhead, okay." And we go home, and um, there are all these icy steps. Mm. Leading now from this Cold house. up in that Canada place, eh? Yeah, because it was about 5 a.m. in the morning, so it had rained and they hadn't salted it, and so it was all icy. And I swear to you, bro, it took me about 45 Same. minutes to get down about 45 steps. Mm. Man of a step, you reckon? Yeah, and, and, and it was just so, it was so slippery, I could barely move. And if I had you with me, it would have been all good if you if I had sober you. But this girl was like, she's like this big. Couldn't handle it. She just, she just couldn't handle me. Like, like, like she, she couldn't help me at all. That's a small girl, bro. I'm exaggerating to make a point. Oh, so like that big, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, and then I think I fell over in the snow and something like that. But yeah, I yeah, I woke up the next morning and I remembered it and I was like, "Fuck, what That's a night, fucking mean like, night, bro." I love pot. <laughs> <laughs> no, but bro, like I just thought like it, it 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 was more likely than not that I slipped on those stairs and smacked my head on the on them and go down and just die. And what's she gonna do? She doesn't have a phone that works because it died. She can't move me. Chuck it back inside the house because there was an apartment complex. You've had a near death experience. Back. Yeah, near death. <laughs> <laughs> near death experience. Yeah. Oh but, man. But so I just kind of um, after that it kind of made me um, rethink uh, my, my life choices. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And then I just kind of stopped. Understandable. Um, in saying that, Jeff the Mari hasn't stopped. In saying that, I don't think Jeff the Mari has to stop. Personal choice. Still respect um, weed smokers. In a, legal, in a legal situation. Mm. Oregon, dude. Hey, on that note, we better have a weed break. Um, Did you say a weed break or a weed break? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to play a song for you instead of... Uh, Instead of just instead of Pete choosing a song because he has a real bad musical taste. Remember I said that? Um, <laughs> Remember when he said he didn't respect it? Um, yeah. So we're going to play a wee song for you. We're just going to set that up, be with y'all in a second. And then part two. I think we're good. I hope those sounds. I think we're good, man. Should instead of doing a song, should we just do random stuff over a G? We often do that, actually. You like a G? Actually, I wrote a song. I was, I was drunk and I was playing the ukulele and I found uh, my mate's CV and his name was Jesse Heinrichs. Do you want me to sing it to you? Mm-hmm. Jesse Heinrichs, bartender server. Jesse Heinrichs, from Kobe Rio Bertha. Jesse Heinrichs, bartender server. Jesse Heinrichs, from Kobe Rio Bertha. I gotta get away sometime. Attending the University of Calgary in the geology program, but I am taking a year off to help pay my way through school. I am an independent, hardworking employee. Something about your establishment. Uh, just kind of read the CV to the courts. Get away again. I woke up here on a cloudy day. I'm feeling blase, blase from last night's party. It's full week. In the back of my mind, I got work today. I actually do. Fuck, it's too much fun. Gotta find my woo. La di da day. Yeah, yeah. He 
Excuse me, sir. Nigga, I broke down. We miss him, let me with the baby now. And I can make the pay today. Might have to be another day. Said I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. <laughs> yep. Ooh. What? Well, that doesn't even make. <laughs> no, nah, that's a classic. You actually did that. Yep. Twice. And you know what the funny thing was was that her mum didn't even find out about it until like four months later. And then she just said fuck off. She just said fuck off, bro. I got the text if you want to see it. Fuck. Oh, yo. What's up? Oh, um, hey. What's up? How you doing? Yeah. Uh, that was our song. On the spot. We yep. tried. We had one attempt before that. I forgot to press the record button. Do I press the record button? I press the record button. We were actually meant to do something right. different, weren't we? Yes. But then that we was that. pretty improvised. Yeah. We were going to just do Catch a Fire. But then we chucked in a bit of... Jesse Heinrichs. Jesse Heinrichs. Yeah. Shout out to Jesse Heinrichs. S- original song I wrote about a lovely man called Jesse Heinrichs. I've heard great things. He was, tr- he was trying to get a job as a bartender slash server. I wouldn't have guessed. No, it was in the lyrics. He doesn't seem like that type of guy. No, if you listen, bro, it's in there. Listen back. Listen back. Rewind like a couple of minutes. It was good. Yeah. Oh, well, I look forward to it. Yeah. Now. The real talk. Let's get birdie. Let's get... You want to get birdie? Let's get birdie. You want to get birdie with Pete? I want to get birdie with Pete. What is it? Birding with Pete? Birding with Pete, yeah. This guy's a bird... Bird watcher? Title? Yeah. Bird watcher. Yeah. Bird. And... I, I like to call myself a bird person dude. Do you just want to go into it a bit? Just describe it a bit for the folks out there what you do with the birds. What I do with the birds, I look at the birds and um, I count them and I have a little list and I add a little... And you, you take know. photos? Yeah, I take photos. And you can find his Facebook page. Birding with Pete. Birding with Pete. And Instagram? I kind of died on the Instagram, but YouTube. Social suicide. Subscribe me on YouTube. 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 Yeah, he does little funny episodes. It's really good. He brings like that whole silliness factor into Ooh. it. Ooh, let's tie this back in with the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah, fuck. I rate, I do like how you bring in that. Do you call yeah. that satire? I don't know, it's like kind of like black humor. I, I like think it's just kind of me, you know. I'm just just kind it is of you. It is very it's very you. It's but like, how do you describe it? It's like kind of sarcastic. It's very Kiwi. It's, kind of, it's just dry. very Kiwi. It's dry, yeah. But you know, the whole thing is like, well, because because I studied documentary filmmaking, right? And everything in documentary filmmaking is is, is 
nine nine out of ten times it's always like very serious, you know, like um there's nothing wrong with it. David Edinburgh, fucking love him, right? Oh yeah. But like, you know, I'm not not, I'm not David Edinburgh. I'm not gonna be like oh it's not your niche. And the the bird dives and catches its prey. No, that, that's so you not can't me. even you can't even impersonate him. Can't even impersonate him. Yeah, like that's how you that's impersonate how him with your own take on it. Which yeah, like kind of like <laughs> yeah. the dry humor. Yeah, thing. yeah. And so I was just, so like there was a stage in my study last year where I was just like, fuck it, I'm not gonna pretend to be something or not. I'm just gonna make a hundred percent exactly just what I what I want to do. It's just me. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's special. So I've got a a series I'm doing this year, a web series mm-hmm. called um. Pete's not really that big year. Pete's not that really big year. Not really that big year. Not really that big year. So, so almost like a small year, almost. Almost, almost but but not that small. So you're cutting down days, or it's not that big, but it's not really that big. Okay, so it's a normal sized year. Well, so so what a big year is is uh birders, which is like you know the term for bird watchers, sometimes do what's called a big year. And they just try to see as many species as they can in one year. Well, we'll give us some numbers. Well, it really depends because um, uh, you can do into like the record for like international big year. The whole world is like six thousand species, I think. North America, you're looking at around seven hundred, maybe. New Zealand, two hundred and twenty is the top. Just depends on where and you year. are. Yeah, not that many birds in New Zealand. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But so, so you, oh yeah, I get you. What I'm doing is not really that big, you know. I'm aiming for two hundred and sixty-nine birds. Total. Total. Species. Because last year I got 268. Got a one-up it. Got a one-up it, yeah. So 269. Cool. I want like 150 or something at the moment. Goals. Because of India and... So uh, you're going to smash it. Well, see, uh, India and Singapore... It's going to slow down a bit now, isn't it? Yeah, it's totally slowed down. Like, uh, uh, if I stay in New Zealand for the rest of the year, really real chance I won't get it. Hmm. Yeah. But if I go overseas again... If, go overseas then. if I go to Australia for a couple of weeks, I'll, no worries, 100% get it. Yeah. Mean, but we'll see how that goes. But yeah, it's, it's, so you're going to be like, how are you going to keep these episodes going when you're not collecting more birds? Are you just going to? Oh, it's it's just, it's just not going to be a reg- regular scheduled thing, okay. you know. Uh, I'm busting them out. It was like, are you releasing your video every so and so number of birds that you see, or? Uh no, it's just it's just really good. Uh, as works can with be fucked. Yeah, basically whenever I can be fucked. But like, I'm going to be filming every time I go out and taking photography, taking photos every time I go out to look for birds. Yeah. And then just however many birds I see, videos will be like five minutes long. It could be like ten different trips in one video. It could be one trip in two videos, you know, just however it goes. Why birds? What is it? Do you remember earlier when you were having trouble putting into words why you liked live music so much? Same thing. So 100% same thing. I, I could not any million years tell you. I could give you guesses as to why I think I might like birds. Like, I love nature. And birds kind of act as like my connection to nature, I guess. Why? Birds are, I, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just oh. throwing out guesses. Would birds you say are cool. If you related to another animal, it would be a bird, or probably not. You call that your spirit animal or something? I reckon if I had a spirit animal, probably wouldn't be a bird. Okay. I love all animals, but you know. What do you think it is you like about birds? Do you think it's the elegance, like the flight? They're elegant. They're beautiful. They can fly. The diversity is crazy. And it, like you know, it's just it's just Mass really number of species. How many species in the world are there? Ten thousand ish. Mm. Yeah, but um, there's just something That's about a fuckload. <laughs> yeah, but there's fucking heaps. But it's just learning, uh, ident- learning how to identify birds, learning about them, going out and seeing them in their environment, counting the ones you see, like you know, making plans to go see new ones and everything. It's just it's just awesome, bro. It's really cool, and I reckon it's more really people should get into it. I think it's cool how you really like it and you're passionate about it and you're doing something about it. You're getting out there and actually. Doing something about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just fun. It's what I like to do, and I'm very hey, happy with it. Good on you. Proud of you. Yeah. Mate. Proud of you. Very proud of you. And it's changed me. I Birding fucking, I me. fucking hate birds, bro. I know you fucking hate birds. They scare the shit out of me. I remember bro. once when you were late to sound check because there was a duck outside your house. Fuck that. Duck, bro. <laughs> Fuck a duck. Actually, but like, I'm also like, in the same way, uh, like monkeys are both terrified of snakes but also amazed at them monkeys they, they are would, amazed by snakes yeah they'll stand there they'll just stand there frozen still and just look at them just watch them it's so curious you don't think maybe they're like keeping an eye on it so they know it's not coming to eat them no but they, they're frozen if they were trying to get maybe they're scared run away. 
Maybe, well, may, no, maybe they're trying to keep an eye on it. It's easier to keep an eye on something and only run if it comes for you than just run away every time you see it. Yeah, I've, he- I've heard it's awe. I've heard it's like <laughs> a state of awe they're in. <laughs> okay, I'll, you know, I'll take your word for it. I've got a zoology degree, but I'll take your word for it. Yeah, well, you want to go? Do you want to fight? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't fight you. Um, You'd win. But yeah, in the same way, I'm scared of birds, for sure. But I think they look fucking cool. Mm. And it's awesome how they can fly. How cool is flying, bro? It's fucking cool. Like, I often sit there and think, like, fuck, if I, I could kiwis. do that. <laughs> kiwis are the shit, bro. I hate kiwis. They're a shit bird. Horrible bird. Everything, any bird that can't fly, don't care about it. Don't count it. Penguins? Hate penguins. Hey. No, I'm just, I'm just having a laugh. It's fucking cool how they can swim. That's, that's really cool. And if we're going back to the topic when I was saying Macquarie Island was my travel highlight before, bro. Tens of thousands of penguins. Mm. And they just, they're, they're just so chill. You just, they just walk up to you and they're like, chat. What do they like, sorry? They're like, chat. But like, um, in pink. like a flap. I'm kind of, yeah. tra- I'm kind of just like translating. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. From, from like penguin to. Are you, uh. To kiwi. Thornberry. Is that their name? The Wild Thornberries. That was a good TV show, eh? Oh, yeah. What was her name? Eliza? Eliza. Eliza, was that it? Yes. Nigel yeah, was the dad, call. right? Nigel. Smashing. <laughs> <laughs> that was Big a good nose. TV show. That was cool. I used to be really jealous of her. Because she could talk to animals. Yeah, I've always loved animals, bro. Mm. I've always been like... Ever since you can remember. Ever since, well, no. I remember when I started loving animals. Five years old. Mm. What well, I, was at, um, I was in Australia. I went to uh, Dreamworld. And Dreamworld in Australia has a place called Tiger Island where all these tigers are. Okay. And um, I just was amazed by these tigers. And a really cute story. Um, the like the target keeper did like a Q and A afterwards, and and there was a giant line. I'm like, fucking mum, we're waiting in this bullshit line all fucking day, <laughs> so I can ask him this question. My mum's like, oh, just ask me the question, and I probably know the answer. I'm like, fuck off, mum. <laughs> I'm not asking you. Are fuck you are you a target think. keeper? <laughs> also, this guy's name was Peter, so I was like, fuck, isn't this Peter? Can you just give it to him? So I waited in line for fucking forever, and I was like, hey, what do I do to work with tigers? And he said, um, study zoology. Wow. Did it. Cute, eh? But then Crazy. it's kind of ironic now because I think that that guy's trash and he's horrible. I don't like well, him. Well, you either. know who it is. No, I don't know who it is, but oh. I, just, I just think that, that, that uh, I just don't Looking really... Looking back on it. Well, I just don't really agree with like exploiting tigers like that, you know? They were just like, literally just exploiting them for our entertainment. What do you think should be done? So you don't agree with zoos then as well? I'm kind of like I'm kind of on the fence with the zoos, eh? I I reckon um, because we went to the zoo, <laughs> we went to the mm-hmm. zoo. I reckon there's like like it, it's really grey area like for for me morally. Like some zoos do amazing things. Like um, San Diego Zoo had a program that um brought the California condor back from extinction in the wild. How extinction? They're extinct in the wild. Right, they were all gone. They were in captivity. They did a captive breeding and release program, and now the California condors back in the wild, not doing well, but they're back. Mm. You know, so that's cool. But good shit. In the same vein, like, I guess advocacy is an argument as well. Because if I had never been to Tiger Island, I probably wouldn't be as in love with birds as I am now, because they kind of made me grow, made me fall in love with animals. Mm, paradox. Yeah, but then at the same time. I don't think an animal should be exploited for our entertainment. You know, it's different if it's like in a in, a, in a, like a beautiful like like well looked after environment. Like, like where's the line enclosure? Yeah, exactly. How the fuck do you draw that line? Exactly. So which which is why I'm saying like and it's also subjective as well. Really subjective, yeah. Because there are beautiful places that have um heaps of animals in captivity that they've just rescued them from like shitty owners, and you can't put them back in the wild, obviously. So, yeah. But I'd say. Very, uh, I don't really like going to zoos anymore. You know, I, like just because of that, or because you just don't like zoos. Well, that adds to it definitely. Like, like the thought that the like you know, I kind of yeah. feel bad for the animals being in there, but also just the rush of seeing an animal in the wild, as compared to in a cage, is incomparable, bro. Yeah. yeah. Like I saw this tiger in India. Five to ten seconds, I saw it. That was so much better than ever. Sp- than, than ever seeing a tiger in captivity, no matter how good your view was, no matter how Why long it was. Why do you think? It's, it's, a, it's just a wild animal, bro. I'm in its house. I'm in, I'm in the tiger's house. He's just walking across the track. Live music, recorded music? 
Live music, recorded music, 100%. Wild animal, captive animal. Mm. Mm. I like that. But no, I like animals, and um, I don't like exploiting them. I'm not a massive animal guy, eh? No, fair enough. It's not for everyone. I'm a big animal guy. No, no one should be. Mm. You're wrong. That's just your opinion, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, animals are cool. I'm pretty scared of most animals, eh? Especially if they're bigger. Yeah, fair enough. I'm just like, bro, you could fuck me up. It could fuck you up, but the thing is, most animals aren't going to fuck you up unless you're like out there poking them in the nose or some shit, you know? Yeah, but I love poking animals in noses. Yeah, you love, yeah, you need to stop that, bro. Making nose poker. Yeah, you're a nose poker, yeah. Oh, well. No, but animals, cool. Birds, like Trump. Them. Birds are friends, not food. That's what I always say. Birds are your top animal. Maybe. Oh, okay. okay. Don't know. You're not too sure. Not too sure. People often ask me what's my favorite bird, and I say, don't know. Do you have a least favorite animal? Least favorite animal, humans. Wow. That's pretty rough. Yeah, I hate humans. I don't know. Are you being serious? Are so being serious? It, uh, here's the thing. I love individual humans, right? Mm-hmm. And I love like like my family, my friends. I love. People doing good all over the world, but humanity as a whole, they like, fucking suck, bro. Really? You think so? Why? Well, we're just fucking destroying everything, aren't we? Destroying the entire world has gone to shit because of us. Global warming? It's fucked. What are you doing that for? Mm-hmm. Slavery? That's I don't fucked. know. I just feel like that's a very, like, kind of pessimistic view of humans, though, bro. Like, how, how are we going to ever grow as a species if... People are thinking that there's no uh, that we're fucking the devil, the worst animal on the planet. Well, just stop, planet. stop being a dicky then. Stop, stop being the worst animal on the planet. You make that sound pretty fucking easy. Yeah, just do it. I don't think we are the worst animal on the planet. I reckon we are. I don't think we are, bro. Oh. How many other animals are? Uh, I think just, we're highest just on the food chain, so that <laughs> just makes us like easy to hate. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Very easy to hate, but you know we can't like. What other animals do slavery? We don't. We don't really do slavery. Oh, heaps of people do slavery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure slavery yeah. definitely happened. What about uh? Happened. What about racism? Racism is bad. Ra- racism is bad. What about destroying the environment? Yeah, destroying the environment's bad for sure. Yeah. And the but thing like is, like, everyone does that. Everyone does that. I'm doing it right now. You're doing it right now. Yeah. Kind of just you know. But uh, are animals doing that as well? Like no. Well, I think, like, cows and shit are. Well, cows... Well, okay. Cow... This is good. So, cows... Domestic cows are one of the largest, um, like... Greenhouse gas things. What's the word I'm looking for? So, cows fart. Exploitation? I don't know. So, cow... cow uh, domestic cows fart, right? And if I don't methane uh, or some shit, I don't, mm. I don't fucking know. And it goes into the, to the air and it acts as a greenhouse gas and it... It's one of the highest contributors to global warming. Mm-hmm. But the whole thing is, the only reason there are so many domestic cows is because of people. What do you mean by domestic cows? Farmed. Farmed cows. So wild cows don't fart? Well, they do, but there would never be as many as there are in the wild. So you're saying you'd rather more of them die? I'd just rather they just w- didn't exist in the first place, you know? Cows? <laughs> well, what do you mean? No, domestic like, cows? Yeah, well, I just don't reckon there's... The, the, if if there just wasn't the need to breed so many, but we want to eat them, just don't eat them. Oh, okay, sorry, <laughs> sorry. I don't do it. It's easy. I like it though, bro. Fair enough. And a lot of people like it. A lot of people need it almost. A lot of people like it, but then that contributes to global warming and environmental destruction. And so, if you're choosing your own. Just, just, I don't know, just man, sim- like simple enjoyment of, of, of a sensation, taste. If you're putting that over the planet, yeah, yeah, that's one of the reasons that I think you don't belong to a very good species. I, I do put human over the environment. I think that we should be de- trying to develop the human race as much as we can. Okay, well, that's fair enough for you to yeah, think yeah. that, eh? But um, I just don't think that. I think that viewing the human race as a cancer on the world is a really horrible thing. I think and it's quite bad. I think we don't have, the thing is that we don't have to be a cancer in the world, though, but it's just the way that we're acting, we kind of are, you know? Okay, so wh- wh- what do you, what do you think we should do? And by the way, we've only just realised in like the last 50 years that our environment's kind of getting fucked up, and it's, it's still like, I don't know, I've, I've heard both sides, mm-hmm. I'm kind of a sceptic. Yeah. 
But um, let's say global warming's legit. Yeah. And, um, climate change. Because it is. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> and then um, <laughs> we've only we've only just figured that out, bro. You got to give us a chance. <laughs> well, you could. We're we're making positive moves, man. Or like, we are. When, like we're we're not doing as much as we could be. Yeah, but as come a whole. on, man. You can't just change people's minds like that. You can't expect us to just all drop everything. I mean, there's there's a lot of stupid people out there. There's a lot of people who are very conservative in their matters. Yeah. And might not agree with you, but there's some people who still don't believe in it for one. Yeah, I think that those are very silly people if they don't believe in it. I'm a little bit silly then. You I, don't I believe don't in global war? Oh, well, I don't know. Well, I've heard it's, both sides. It's, and it's, I'm, it's, I'm real don't know. And I don't know any of the science. Do you yeah. know any of the science behind it? Well... I don't have exact stats and figures. That's what I mean. Like, but I like, don't know. Like, and I've like, heard both it, people it, say it's, it's, it's a fact, you know. It's a scientific fact that that humans are changing the climate. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like changing the climate. I just don't know how detrimental it is for, for the Earth. Oh, no, see, it, it is pretty bad because, say, like, if, if I tell you that two, the rise in two degrees Celsius is, is, is a bad thing, like... But that hasn't happened. Has it? I don't know, but well, it's going to happen. The last 150 years, it's raised, like, 0.8 degrees. Is that like an exact figure? Probably should have had exact figures for this discussion, eh? I'm pretty sure I heard that, bro. But see, zero point eight degrees sounds like nothing to you, right? But yeah, like it's a fuck ton. For like, for like, if is it? it? What? Well, what are you backing that up with? Well, how do you know that? Because I have a zoology degree. <laughs> 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 now, see, see, the the whole thing is the the entire world is basically an ecosystem like one big ecosystem made out of smaller ecosystems made out of smaller ecosystems and this has just evolved over over so many years to be um to be to, to be relatively sensitive you know and so when there are big changes in this ecosystem it's catastrophic big changes such as an asteroid that strikes the earth 65 million years ago yeah wipes out an entire w- wipes wipes out heap, he- heaps of stuff right yeah and so it sends us into an ice age. Yeah, yeah. And so um, the fog that it created <laughs> from the dust that it created—that's uh, fucked up. Yeah, exactly. That that's simple, right? That that's really simple. Fog yeah, and dust and doesn't sound like that. Meteor hitting the earth. A meteor hasn't hit our earth, bro. Yeah, but what's happening now is actually a lot worse. The rate of extinction at the moment is higher than it's ever been ever. We're 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 currently in a mass extinction because well, when the meteor hits the earth and all the dinosaurs die, you're probably picturing them dying relatively soon, right? No, because the ice age happened. Yeah, but what what happened was a gradual, gradual, gradual extinctions. But the extinction right now is drastically higher than it has ever been in any of the other mass extinctions. Because yeah, but is that not also because there's more species now? No. <laughs> <laughs> but like, that, that's what that's what happens. We all mutate and keep new, new species keep getting developed. <laughs> that doesn't happen. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> no, no, no. Okay. It's not because there are more ha- species. What happens? Well, what what happened is that one species, right? One species started walking. One one, one chimp that lived in the tree started walking because they the, they could access like diff- different habitats. So they started walking, which freed their hands up, so they could make tools. Yeah. These tools enabled them to start hunting, which grew their brains bigger, which made them smarter. So they started making more and more and more and more and more and more and more tools, and these tools eventually get to the point where they're harming the environment so much more than anything that could uh, ever been made did, such as like the industrial revolution, bro. Mm-hmm. The industrial revolution, animal agriculture, all that sort of shit is the is is our meteor, you know? Okay. Yeah. So, w- what do you think is the the worst thing that's happening from clim- climate change at the moment? My opinion, animal agriculture. Animal agriculture? Yeah. Oh, so, you, I mean, so that's the main contributor for you? I don't know the exact stats and what the main yeah, contributor yeah, no, no, is, I'm just but saying, I, I think that that's the... But, I mean, what do you think is the worst effect of climate change so far? Well, have you... Have, well, so, the climate's changing, atmosphere's warming up, the ocean's warming up, even just a tiny bit. Changes in mm-hmm. ocean temperature greatly affect atmospheric conditions, which then affect, like... Weather events. I, I really, I don't know the science behind it, so I can't. No, no, I'm, t- I'm, t- I'm telling you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and yeah. so all, all think, think about all the cyclones that have been happening in the states recently. Yeah, it's it's pretty normal. I've looked, I've looked at it, bro. The that cyclone rates are pretty normal. Over in terms of like looking over like the last few hundred years, it's it's been pretty, it's been uh, pretty normal. like the sort of discussion that we're having right now isn't really the sort of discussion where we can just 
say things that aren't backed up though. This is the sort of discussion that that we need to have. Need to have science behind. We need that. we need we need to have data here because neither of us are going to reach a conclusion without having done our research beforehand. Well, yes, yeah, solid having, and, and, ha- and having it on and hand. There's so much research to be done on the topic. But there's already so much research, like like that, that that's there that says this is happening. Yeah. yeah. Have but you seen Merchants of Doubt? Nah. You should watch it. It's um, it's in favor of climate change. Mm. I watched the other day. It's really so good. same in climate change is good. No no no, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's uh, mm. it's saying that it's it's like saying those who are skeptics are like silly. stupid. Yeah, yeah, silly. Yeah, and um, it's good, man. It yeah. is good, but like, it, it's still like I've I've listened to the other side as well, and like they're they're convincing too, and I'm like, oh, I don't know, I I can't make I can't make a strong opinion on it because I don't yeah. know the science. And you but see no, that the this thing is, this is the thing I hate. The thing I hate is that. A lot of people do have strong opinions on the matter without considering the other side. Well, a lot of people have strong opinions on thinking climate change is really, really bad, as though it's like an axiomatic truth. And it may well be. It may well be. I'm not saying it's not. But these people that are claiming it don't know any of the science behind it. They're just claiming it. Yeah, okay. And that's what pisses me off. But, you see, the thing is, (coughs) the vast majority of scientists in the world we're talking 90% upwards. I've seen the consensus, but yeah. did you see the questionnaire? What questionnaire? That The con- the questionnaire that they consented on. It was like two questions, like, is the climate changing? Are humans a part of that change? It's like, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Well, yeah, so you just agreed with it. I've agreed with that. I don't know if it's so detrimental, though. Oh, no, no, bro. See, no, the, the thing is here is that I know for a fact that it's detrimental because I've had... These four or five years of studying it, basically. But there's no way in hell that I'm going to... you studying climate change? I study zoology, and zoology is basically greatly affected by climate change, so, you know. But there's no way in hell I'm ever going to convince you, sitting on a couch without my research, without without having anything to show you. Oh, bro, I don't think there's anyone that could convince me. No shit. I could convince you. I, I, I could convince you. You no, know. I think I would have to. I think I would have to find it myself. Okay. O- okay. Yeah. But you could be convinced. Or read it myself. You yeah. could. You could be convinced. The, the the stuff's there to convince you, just it was, as it was there to convince me. I don't just believe. I don't just believe stuff. You know. Yeah. yeah I, I, believe I, I need to be convinced as well. But what I'm saying is that this conversation is kind of pointless right now between me and you, without okay, anything to okay. back it up other we'll than hearsay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna. Yeah. I'm, def- I'm definitely the hated view on that, for sure. But yeah, I'm just saying. I I need to like. But what we could like do that, is we I could do a podcast too, with research. With research, we could. Yeah. We should, yeah. We probably should. I probably should get into laptop incorporated into this shit. Laptop, inc- yeah. Well, well, you know, yeah, no, you know, you know, well, you know, let, let's do that. Let's let's set another date and we'll do um, yeah, yeah. We'll get we'll get some we'll get some research in here. We can do it, bro. Yeah, yeah. You can build up. I'll, I'll build up an argument for against it just for the hell of it. Okay. And you can build up an argument for it, and we'll just. We'll just fucking go. We'll just see. We'll just see what. Yeah. We'll see what. Fa- Cause like, the other problem with it is there's just like a, there's a fucking like sea of facts now, and you can kind of frame anything. No, no, that, like that, that, that that is true. There, there, there is so much research that that it's really easy to to frame things in a way that. So it's, it's in your favor. Yeah, it's the same with anything. It's, bro. Su- it's Any super argument. easy to do that, but 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 the thing is, those sort of arguments don't hold up to intense scrutiny. You know. So like See? yeah, <laughs> which is why those sort of things work in this sort of situation. Mm-hmm. But you know, no no one no one's gonna no one's gonna look at this and not be able to destroy it without with with, with all the data. Just the for world. the record, I don't want don't want you to think that like I'm 100 percent against the detrimental effects of climate change. I just don't know. No, yeah, that, that's 100 <laughs> percent fair because that's the whole thing is that there's so much stuff in the world that people don't know. And that's why, and I just don't want people claiming. That's they why know we're things. a cancer in the world, is because no one knows. Mm. Which is why I study science communication. Okay, so I can help people know. Yeah, good on you. Yeah, good on you. Enlighten people. Hey, should we have shit. another drink? Yeah. Woody's there. Eh? Old Woodstock. Wait. So you said to me, did you? S- you said to me, what's your favorite beer, right? And I said yeah. Woodstock. Yeah, and that's that, that, not a that, 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 that's like a funny <laughs> thing to say. That what's your favorite beer? And I said Woodstock. You want to know? I had that exact exchange with someone yesterday. She said, "What's your favorite beer?" And I said Woodstock. And what did she say? She said, "Are you home? Are you home?" Yeah. Oh, she bring you some Woodstock. Well, that's what I thought. 
And then, and, then <laughs> and then that was just the end well, of the conversation. Asked you, that was just the, yeah. Just the <laughs> yeah. Of yeah. No, I, I thought that she was planning on getting me some Woodstock and, and then coming around to give me the Woodstock because I just, I just filled a car up with some petrol. It would make sense. She didn't have her wallet. And then, um, and then she didn't come. So m- maybe, maybe she'll get me some Woodstock later. Hopefully, man. No. You know what? You know what's going to happen? If I do like Woodstock, though. If, like, I had to pick an RTD. This is an RTD, yeah. Famous as RTD. RTD. Uh, for, for the non-New Zealand viewers, an RTD is stand, stands for Ready to Drink. It's which is so weird. a pre-mixed uh, alcoholic beverage. So uh, in this no case, it's bourbon. And co- it's fucked, eh? Why? Why do you not? So and they come legit. over and they're like, oh my God, this is so weird. It's in a can. Actually, no, the funniest thing was I had, um, I was on a Russian boat. And the third mate, uh, Iwan Shakuro, was um, third mate. He, your third mate. He was cool. He was he was chatting to me, and he's um he's saying, I love bourbon, vodka, no bourbon, yes bourbon and coke. And they were like, yeah, I love bourbon and coke. And he gets his phone out and he shows because he was just in New Zealand for like a night before getting on the ship, and he shows me a picture of Jack da- of, of Jack Daniels and coke, and he's like, can. He he, he was just amazed. He by was it. blown away. His life has changed. He's been mixing Jack Daniels and Coke together his whole, his whole life. life. And now he has like... And now, he's, now it's an like easy, ready-to-go solution. Yeah, and he, he was just blown away by it, man. He was cool. It must oh, be pretty mind-blowing, I suppose. Hmm. Well, imagine if there was something you had to do your whole... Though, eh? Yeah, yeah. There was something you had to do your whole life. Then you find out somewhere else is done for you. <laughs> yeah, man. If you, yeah. if you were an avid spirit drinker... Yeah. Imagine if you were a smoker and you go to like Portugal or something and you find out that their cigarettes come pre-lit. Pre- <laughs> Even pre-rolled, bro. Even pre-rolled. Yeah. yeah. If you come in somewhere in the world where you don't have pre-rolled, yeah. Hey, did you hear um, Marlboro cigarettes is um, stopping doing tobacco? What's Marlboro cigarettes? Marlboro. The brand of cigarettes. Don't know them, bro. I've never done them. Okay, well, well, this case. Okay, actually, I might have the name wrong, but anyway, one of the top tobacco companies in the world is not doing tobacco anymore. Is that right? As of New Year's, yeah. Why? The, uh, because it's fucking killing people. It's killing people. Yeah, That's good, then. and they kind of realise, mm-hmm. like, oh, market's dying. Maybe we're the bad guys. Are we? Oh, we might be the bad guys. Maybe a little bit. Mm. Maybe we tricked everyone into that a little <laughs> bit. Yeah, That's some actually the, <laughs> some of the crazy shit on that is. Ooh. You know what's funny though is that back in the day, cigarettes were all the fuss. Everyone loves cigarettes. Years Doctors and years were later, promoting it, bro. Yeah, bro. But that's because years and years later they find out they have long term negative effects on your health. Mm. Right? Yeah. Found it out. And now everyone's going on about vaping. Everyone's going on vaping's not bad for your health. Vaping's all good. And it's scarily similar, I reckon. Yeah, bro. Like, I, I, I Same wouldn't with be sur- weed, man. Yeah. Same with weed, bro. Because I wouldn't be surprised if in fifty to a hundred years' time it comes out like, oh. Vaping causes super AIDS. Not at all, bro. Didn't the realize that. <laughs> Not at all, man. But like, fuck. We may as well find out. We oh, might bro, find we're all out gonna the hard die way. anyway. Let's just fucking do it. Classic. But yeah, nah. Like, we may as well do. The, like, I just feel like we should do the research on it. On all those drugs, like, and we should be allowed to do the research. No, on no. It. But but the thing is, you need long term studies to act, to actually find out. Like, you need a whole gotta lifetime. Start, gotta start to do somewhere. It. So yeah, but the research will come out eventually. Eventually, and I re- I, I reckon it'll be bad. It's got to be bad. It's got. It's got. Well, it's fucking water vapor in your lung. I I, I had pneumonia, some, isn't that? The that's, that's what someone thought. Um, I was, I was talking to a guy, and he's like, I reckon it's gonna cause like pneumonia and lung cancer and shit, and it's gonna, gonna be worse for you than cigarettes. But like down the road. Yeah, I, and I wouldn't be surprised. But I like I would. Uh, it could. It could be fine. At you know? this point in my head, it seems like it's better. Yeah, just from. Yeah, but it's not a thing for me anyway. I'm just, I'm just saying, it. wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. definitely on the cards, eh? Yeah, definitely on the cards. What are we up to? What are you up to? What else we got? Can you tell me about your South Antarctica trip? Oh, I've mentioned it twice, kind of. Yeah, but can you get into yeah. it? Okay, so I went to the Southern Antarctica. Do you want more, more in depth? That's us for... <laughs> <laughs> no, so yeah, it was cool. So there's this company called uh, Heritage Expeditions, right? And they're... um. How did you su- How did you suss it? Yeah, yeah I, I, I was... I was, I was no, 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 no. How did you... Su- <laughs> oh. Oh. Now, so they... And what they do is they run a lot of, like, 
expeditions, not 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 like cruises, like actual like quite intrepid sort of shit. They go around the Russian Far East, they go to the sub Antarctic, they go to Antarctica, they do some stuff in the Pacific, right? And it's all kind of rich people who can do it because it's pretty expensive. Yeah. But the guy who owned it, I think he's just passed the company off to his sons. Rodney Russ is his name, awesome fella. He um his family has like a trust, trust fund. And what they do is you, if you're a um young fella, 18 to 30, you can apply for a scholarship and they'll just fucking send you on it. And so you got a scholarship. Yeah, it's not free. free. It's not oh, free. Okay, it's yeah, it's yeah. heavily How dis- much? Uh it's it's affordable. I'll say that. It's like don't want to say. 30% of the of the of the price. Okay. So so they cover 70% of it, which is fucking mean. So um and um so you you were obviously taking a lot of photos and shit on this. Yeah. Was that like part of it? Like part of your application process? The no, fact that you're going to be taking not, photos? Not not really, eh? Cuz these sort of trips they cater to birders and photographers. So like I was nowhere near even one of the top photographers on the trip. I was probably one of the worst photographers of the trip. Okay. But so what you need is something that sets you aside from the birders and the photographers and I had that in filmmaking. Ah. Yeah, because, yeah. So, so I had that in my filmmaking. There were a couple of other young fellas on the trip with me. There was a guy called Julian, my roommate. He was a illustrator, natural history illustrator. Up to boat. Uh, Ricky was a marine scientist. Ricky. Uh, Sam was a vet. He was working in Bacargo now. He's a pretty cool guy. He didn't invite me to his wedding. Thanks for the invite, Sam. Um, and... Ross, Ross, Ross um, go. Ross, he um, he's like he, he's English and he works in like environmental mor- monitoring on ships, and so like he kind of went into that from the whole environment sort of aspect I think, but I don't really understand it too much. But yeah, so we all like had our own thing that wasn't yeah, photography kind of or just or just loving nature. You know, there was we all had a reason to go there, mm-hmm. and like it's difficult to get down to the sub Antarctic, man. So uh, you know, it's kind of a crazy crazy opportunity. Yeah, yeah, fuck, I, I didn't even know it was, like, a possibility. Yeah, dude. So um, so what we did was we went to a bunch of islands, the Snares, Auckland Islands, Macquarie, which was the only Australian one. Oh, so that's when you went to those? Yeah, that's when I went to Macquarie. Um, so Snares, Auckland, Macquarie, Campbell Island, Antipodes Island, Bounty Islands, Chatham Islands. Mm-hmm. And, like, some, like, Antipodes and Bounty, this is the only trip you can do to, or, like, Heritage is the only way you can get to them. They do, like, maybe two or three trips, I think, that go there a year. So, like, it's right. nuts. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw a penguin there that's harder to see than emperor penguin. Cool. What's what's the penguin? Erect crested penguin. An erect penguin? Erect penguin, yeah. Because it only lives on, like, the Antipodes. And does it only live on the Antipodes? Uh, well, yeah. It only lives on, like, Antipodes and Bounties, actually. And so, like, those places are harder to get to than Antarctica. Okay. Because it's, like, the only trip that does it. So, that, that was nuts, man, seeing that sort of stuff. That's fucking cool, bro. Yeah, right. It would have been, like... What? Was it? Hang on. Mm-hmm. Let's keep it PG, though, for the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Um, How long was it? Three weeks-ish. Three Just weeks. under three weeks, I think. Three weeks on a boat. Yeah. So, I was living with Julian uh, in a little weird bunk. We had a really small room. It was cool. Russian ship couple guys that were cool. How many people on the trip? Total? Oh, total, I think it was about 60, maybe. So it's quite a big ship. Yeah, that includes um, staff, crew, and, like, us. Okay. Yeah. Passengers, yeah. I think it was 60 or like. Fine. Yeah. Uh, I'm, in my head, it's 42 passengers. All good guys? Six. All good, yeah. Mo- mostly all. All, all male? No. Male dominated? Uh, male dominated, yeah, but a few females. A few, um, few solo and a few that were like uh, a few partners that came along. Oh, okay, yeah. Actually, two of the coolest people I met were Greg and Tina Caster. They're, um, I think, uh, they're just just about to turn fifty, I think, and then and they're cool. They don't have any kids, and they're just the fucking coolest people in the world, man. They're awesome. I love them. They live in Colorado, Fort Collins, Colorado, and they invited me to come stay with them, and I'm gonna go stay with them. You're going to go do that shit. I'm going to go do that shit. They're going to take me to Yellowstone. When do you reckon you're going to do that? I'm hoping to do it next year. Oh, yeah. I want to I wanna run away from New Zealand after I finish this Masters. Nice. And I'm hoping to get here. <laughs> yeah. <Is that> Arizona? <laughs> I'm hoping to get to New Mexico. <laughs> what was it? El Paso. 
Paso. Let's oh, go to El Paso. Good. Should we go to El Paso? Yeah, let's go. All right, see you later, guys. Good, 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 good talk. No, um, there's a sign. So how, how, many, how many photos did you take on that trip? 20,000. Holy <laughs> fuck, bro. Let's do the arithmetic. 20,000 over three weeks. 20,000, right. how many days is that? 21. It was less than, it was probably, it was 18 or 19 days, it would have been. So it's a thousand photos a day. Just over a thousand photos a day, yeah. <laughs> so there's zero enough hours Oh, a no, day. no, but it was more than 20,000. I'm rounding down. It was 20 to 25,000. Okay, yeah. Okay, so it's one, one thousand one hundred forty. It's just, that, like, it's, that, it's not actually that much. And a lot of these photos are just going to be... Yeah, yeah. Do you want to know the um the guy who took the most photos that trip though? Guess how many he had. Oh, how many? Twenty twenty. Uh, hundred thousand. Hundred twenty thousand. Woo! Nuts, eh? Crazy. I was gonna be that dickhead that overshoots it like ridiculously. I hate that man. I love like, doing it. Eighty seven million, and you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's totally rude. But Did like, you? it's kind yeah. of funny to do. <laughs> <laughs> you do it on purpose. It's trolling. You do it on purpose, don't you? Fuck. Of course I've never it. done it on purpose. I only ever do it on accident. Uh, sometimes sometimes I do it on accident, but yeah. sometimes I do it on purpose. <laughs> it, 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 it actually is disappointing when I do it on accident, though. Mm. And I'm like, oh, oh, that's not that impressive, bro. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, that happens to me on the trip. E- like, even that, that was like an overshot guess. Yeah. To be fair, I probably would have guessed 80,000. Eight, oh, so you were, you, were, you were trying to do it, weren't you? I, no, I wasn't trying to do it too much, but I was like, it's pro- I, was, I was like 80,000, fuck, it's probably more. It's yeah, probably okay, more. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever lied afterwards just to not be disappointed? What do you mean? Like, what if, like, like, have you, like if you had guessed over and I said like 200,000, just lied so they didn't have to feel bad. Have you ever done that? I feel like that's something I'd do. Oh, like, say it, if you said, if I said 120,000 and then you said something else. Well, no, so I, I was thinking to myself that if, if you had guessed 150, I would have just lied and said it was oh, yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. just so that I didn't have a disappointment. Oh, yeah, I hear you. Have you ever done that? No, nah, no. Nah. No, nah, okay. Oh. I don't like lying. No, I don't really like lying either. Suck at it as well. No, actually, I'm fucking good at lying. You want to know the why I'm so good at lying as well, though? Is that hitting it? Oh, this is kind of going to ruin it, though. I am really good at making people think I'm a shit liar. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, it's like our reverse psychology almost. Yeah. And so whenever it's I tell... It's like what you're saying with the narcissist thing. Right? It's a yeah. subtle narcissist, it's a subtle thing. Yeah. But so what happens is like, just make people think I'm a shit liar by, by telling like like shit lies and, and like giggling or whatever. And like, I just establish it as part of me. And then whenever I tell a big lie, they're like, oh, no, he's, he's good. He just... Uh, he's, I, I would be exa- other, I would be other like an exaggeration that you use, eh? Yeah. So but it's actually not exaggerated. Yeah. So it's like, when I lie for real, no one knows. You cheeky cunt. Burpees. It's got the burpees. It's got um tizzy in it. Yeah. I'm starting to get a little bit tipsy. I'm starting to get a little bit tipsy. Yeah, bro. Should we go to town? We we'll go to town. Go to town. What is that? It's, it's only twelve o'clock. Just getting lit outside. That's uh A flat. Danny Dixon. We should go see them if you want after this. Yeah, we could do, bro. Yeah. Well, fuck. Anything else you want to talk about? We could almost wrap this up soon, probably. Yeah. Well, um, the Dewey Decimal System. I always like to talk about that. I got in a heated argument with a librarian recently who thinks that um, it's not the best way to classify a library book. Let's just say, quickly go through what it is. I don't really know. Okay. I just think it sounds cool. I like the sound of it. I it, it it's like, it's like a, a system that they use to classify library books, you know? You know like how all like at, at university... No, you know how when you go to the library and like, all the books are like a little sticker on the side with some numbers yeah. and shit? Yeah. There's like different systems apparently. One of them is Dewey Decimal System. And apparently it's not that good, but I, it's my favourite because it's funny to say. Yeah, it's alliteration. Yeah. Funny. I just like, sometimes I like, like to make a chair to the Dewey Decimal System. Cheers to the fucking Dewey. It's the Dewey Decimal System. Yeah. You yeah. ask him. Um, yeah. You've just got to take my test. Okay, I've got to take it. Is it a test? Or I want to look. I want to look. Oh, you can look. I can look. What is it? You, you won't really be able to see it. So it's just like a um, option A or option B. Okay. I call it the higher virtue test. The what test? Higher virtue. Okay. So it's kind of like, what's your higher virtue out of these two things? Okay. 
And mm-hmm. some of them, you know, some of them, I don't, I don't think it's a very good name. Like, I just, it was the one that I went with to start. I liked it. And now, like, thinking about it a bit more. It's too late. Episode nine. Too, too, too late. Too late. Too late. Too late. Too late. Too late. Okay, yeah, here we go. I love so the name. Either or. Okay. OCD or untidy? Untidy. Do you want to go into it in depth why? Or just... Um, feel free. Well, are you saying I would rather be OCD or untidy? Um, whatever you think. The higher option. Okay. Well, because I was... Oh, obsessive compulsive disorder is more than just being tidy. That can be, like, damaging to people's lives and shit, you know? I think I'd rather just be messy. messy. You know, I reckon you should do OCD or a hoarder. Because those are comparable, I think. Okay. Whatever. Okay. I'm tidy. Yeah. Um, comfort or adventure? Adventure. Compassion or competition? Compassion. Harmony or honesty? Honesty. Group discussion or like one-on-one discussion? Group discussion or one-on-one discussion? Yeah. Group. Uh, purpose or pleasure? Purpose. Happy and sad or content? Happy and sad. <laughs> we were talking about this before. Did you yeah. put this in the break? Uh, nah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, question or question. answer? Question. Power to the individual or power to the group? Power to the group. Yes or no? Nah. Sure, that about that. Sure, G. Yeah, we really handshake as well. Yeah. So when are you gonna transfer the money? <laughs>